baby. Follow all the directions. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to next level this option, mm-hmm. you can cook and eat naked. She t- all I'm saying is, do I you like think it's a good idea? Or Big Bad you- Wolf is one of my favorite characters. I'm going to leave that. So, <laughs> welcome to today's episode of Relationship Talk with a Guest. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click the subscribe button so you won't miss out on the new content when it drops. Valentine's Day is celebrated on February 14th each year. Fellas, (laughs) did you hear what I just said? (laughs) Valentine's Day is February 14th. So I actually made this list. I don't know that you've seen. I actually came up with seven fun, budget-friendly activities that you could do for Valentine's Day outside of the normal flowers, cards, bears, candy, cologne, and boxes. So I'm giving fun choices with an option to upgrade to hot and steamy. So you could put your sexy clothes on and, you know, cook you a special meal together, set the mood with candles and soft music. You know, I'm not talking about your hamburger help. Too right there, baby. Fired. I mean, I ain't talking about your hamburger Shots. help. And now, Ed's hamburger help is gourmet. Ham- I make a mean hamburger help. It's good. Mean. It is good. It but that's not what we're talking about right here. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say a good meal is um, for Valentine's Day? Something. Mm. All right, listen. I think you did it one time, boy. Crab legs, and I, I, I was gonna say scrimp, but she'll jump over this microphone and tear me. I would edit. <laughs> crab legs edit and shrimp. Crab legs and shrimp is a good to me sexy meal. Cause I disagree. It's, Cause it's not heavy. I like disagree. you know what I'm saying. I, people would probably say steak and all this pasta, but you are gonna feel that the the longer the night goes on. You got to have something a little. Lighter on the stomach to me. Cra- crab legs are. I love crab legs. Yes, she does. They are too messy they for Valentine's messy. Day. They are messy. And you gonna have crab juice. I love yourself. <laughs> That's just not sexy. <laughs> now, if you just got a little date night and y'all got t t shirts on, you cracking crabs. Yeah, okay. but if you got your sexy lingerie, I okay, I can. See I don't want to crack no crab legs. Okay, and have okay. The crab juice. I tried. <laughs> and steak is probably good for a lot of people. I just don't like. Steak. She don't like steak. Yeah, what else? Like that. Well, I guess I was thinking about you with the steak. I mean, uh, you can never go wrong with chicken. I would love a little grilled salmon. It would be fire. Yes. Or something like that. Oh, yeah, salmon is, is definitely. So, you know, cook a little something together. That could mm-hmm. be fun at home. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to next level this option, mm-hmm. you can cook and eat naked and oh, plan oh, to oh, eat oh. dessert off of each other. Mm. So please, I want, I have to throw this out there. I love this idea, but it I need you to be careful. Mm. And this is coming from a place of experience. <laughs> Give it the warning. Um, as a sex educator, <laughs> as a woman, please be careful not mm. to get any sugary food near the vagina. Mm. If you're going to shop at the grocery store for your sex toppings, <laughs> which I don't highly recommend because they actually do have these things at sex stores. Mm. But if you go to the grocery store, I'm not above it. Then you have to choose your landing locations. Go with me carefully. Mm. So if you put something sweet on the penis, be <laughs> sure to wash it with soap before insertion. We should give y'all lessons right now. Now, this part right here <laughs> might not be sexy, but it'll save you seven days of monastate. Thank me later. So be please go with me on this. Now you keep it so real. No, I got to because I don't want to. I don't want to give this advice and then people writing me talking about the issue, baby. Follow all the directions. So number two, I think oh, this is a good idea. Okay, you can set your living room up like a theater. You know, Ooh, make it dark, pop like a little it. popcorn, I like it. get your favorite snacks, I like and it. watch two movies. So mm. each person picks one. Mm. You play rock paper scissors to see whose movie plays first, mm. but you have to commit to staying awake and intentionally engaging in your partner's choice, even if it's not something you would normally watch. I. <laughs> I wrote this in for me. She's breaking for herself on this one. Because I'm going to go to sleep on your movie. I'm going to go to sleep on mine. She ain't going to go to sleep. Yeah. Especially <laughs> if she puts her foot in my lap and I start to rubbing her feet. I'm going to go to sleep. She's out. It could be a movie I've been where I would go to the theater and pay $20 for my ticket in my recliner after I eat my popcorn. Listen. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to unfasten my bra and I'm going to knock out. I'm going to quote the kids. And I know, and I hate this word, but bruh. 
But don't do that. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so if you choose this activity, you can't stay up and watch a movie and then when they movie come on, you just over there snoring. So commit. Start as early as you need to so that you commit to staying awake. So if you want a next level, this option, come on now. Okay. Then I want you to record yourselves mm. making a movie <laughs> and then watch that. What do you think about that? Mm. I'm scared to comment. Why? Yes, because when Why you say- Why not be my dinner while making a movie? Mm. Mm, get, what type of movie it. we making? Are we making like a, uh, you know, a what Shakespeare, of, a Shakespeare a, movie? This is a next, it can be Shakespeare. <laughs> If you like a white you know to yours. Listen, or you could do... You know, it could you, be a little red riding hood. Ooh, talk about it. Yeah, listen. Mm, she, she, mm. All I'm saying is, do I you like, think it's a good idea? Or Big Bad Wolf is one of my favorite characters. I'm, I'm going to leave that. So if you're one of those people who are like, you are not going to record me, you're not going to have footage of me being nasty, uh -huh. you can commit to, after you right. watch it together, delete it. Delete it, it. yes. Now let me watch you delete that <laughs> about this phone. Yes. Or record it on mine, and I'm going to mm. delete it. But you like, everything goes to the cloud. Your booty might be on the cloud. Okay. So don't do that if you are afraid. Yes. You know that the cloud goes to get you. But it's exciting. Quite it exciting. Is. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. I mean, I ain't saying that we recorded or nothing, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, you know, it's an option. It's an option. So number three, mm -hmm. do something active that you both, you know, that you've been wanting to do. You could run a theme 5K or go rock climbing, go hiking, biking. Just do something that you wouldn't do regularly. We ran a, a themed 5K. It was the color run. <laughs> I loved it. He hated it. He hated every bit of it. I actually trained for it. Who does he this? did not. Who does this for fun? We got to the 5K. He tried to cheat the 5K. No, you can put all He wanted to cut design. through. So it's really got to be something that both of you want to do for it to I be celebratory. To Listen, I, en I enjoyed it. It's, it's a great memory. I'm not interested in ever, and I mean ever, doing it again. But I can say with confidence. That's like one of those bucket list things they say people like. Check it off. You, yours is Move. checked? Oh, yeah. We, we done what, Would you want to do rock climbing or hiking or anything like that? No. I want to biking. I'll do biking. Biking. Yeah, okay. we'll go biking. So find something yeah. active that you both would be interested in, and then you could go with that. Yeah, climbing on rocks. So to next level <laughs> this, how about a stretching class? Mm. So in these classes, you, mm. you know, loosen your muscles, you get your blood flowing, and you have a lot of close, intimate moments. So would you do one of those classes with me? Now you're talking my language. Yes. Yeah. That That's an adventure I'm willing to do. We stretch each other out so it's beneficial to both, and we can end it with a nice movie at the end. They kind of put you in, in those classes, they put you in some – you know, kind of sexual positions, sexual positions when you are stretching. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be embarrassing to be in those positions with other couples around? Nah, I'd be really focused on you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I wouldn't be embarrassed at all. I don't think I would be either. Yeah, I, I would like would. to do it, actually. <laughs> yes. We'll find one. So, it was this number four? Uh, Yeah. Yep. Set the mood for a romantic couples massage at home mm -hmm. with scented oils and soothing music. Mm. So both of you choose a number between 1 and 10, and then let the random number generator app choose the love number. Mm. And whoever gets the closest to the love number without going over wins the choice of giving or receiving first. Well, I tend to lose this a lot because you're always on the receiving end, but I love it. I am, and I love it too. <laughs> Thank you, man. I love it. Yes, yeah. This is this is a this you is barely, a number one. You rarely get rubbed on. I get rubbed on every night, every time, and I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, you. but I, I like it. The benefits are great. Yes. So mm -hmm. if you want to next level this option, mm -hmm. you know, get the rubbing and touching and touching and rubbing, and then you let that bass and the music guide your fingers to where Barry White called the secret garden. Mm, listen to the song, and then <laughs> you get it. You see what I'm saying? So. <laughs> It gives things that I'll massage you in this what we way. What are the massage for? This is this I'll is what <laughs> this is what the massage is for. We setting up some things. It's supposed to be special At occasion the massages, the, Ed. No, every massage is the setup for something. <laughs> like we doing all that touching and rubbing, rubbing and touching. Number five. Okay. Number five. Set up an art night, so you can order canvases that have images pre-drawn. If you're not naturally artistic, and I'm definitely not. Um, and then you can paint them together. We've actually done this before. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. This can be um, 
fun. They're good. You yeah. know, if if the paintings turn out good, you can hang them up at your house. Mm -hmm. So to next level this option, mm -hmm. you could order some edible pot, body paint really? and use each other's bodies as the canvases and enjoy a little sweet treat at the end. We've never done that. I'm intrigued. We have not. I'm intrigued. You think you might like that? Mm-hmm. Tune in. We'll talk about that <laughs> in the future. Yeah. yeah. We're going to try that one. I like. Okay. Number six, create a fun and personalized scavenger hunt that leads your partner or significant other to, you know, places all around that are significant and memories that are significant. Mm -hmm. To the next level, this option, you could use all sexy clues where mm -hmm. they gather different items that will they will be excited to use during sex along the way. So oh, maybe, man. you know, at this clue that they read, they pick up some whipped cream. They okay. go to the next clue, they get some fruit. Okay. The next clue, they might have some sex toys or something and move around that way. And at the end, then they have a whole little basket of stuff that, that you guys can use during fun play. So if you're not really creative or if you're not in a creative space, but you want to try it, do an internet search for sexy scavenger hunt with free printable clue cards and you'll get lots of results here. Um, this will make this activity much easier and you just cut out the cards and then you're done on that. Um, if you don't like the first one that you click on, just close out of it and click on another one until you find cards that work for you. If you do this and you find something that you like, please come back and comment so we can mm -hmm. spread that love. Somebody else might want to use that one too. Absolutely. So we can use this just as a little resource hub for people to come find ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so last but not least, cause I really like this one, <laughs> uh, have a game, have a game night by candlelight. So mm -hmm. play board yeah. games, card games or video games together. What board games? She's too competitive. I'm laughing at this one because it may start off candlelight and then we just, we are competitive. Turn the lights on. I can't right, see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't see. I think you cheated. I think that was a right. five. That went no six. Turn the lights on. Yes. So maybe it worked for you. I don't want to discourage anybody from doing it. I just know we can take this one off our list. We too. Competitive. I love board we games. We both were athletes, games. so this 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 ain't gonna. I don't see it going well. <laughs> Well, maybe if you have like a, a double date with another couple, y'all can play cards. And then you're and, on the same team. Yeah, yeah, same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that then you play that way. <laughs> to next level it. Uh oh. You could um you could make side bets Ooh, during your game like where the be. loser has to remove an article of clothing. Mm. So mm. in the words of the barefoot storyteller, that's one girl, she said, y'all could play naked, naked basketball. <laughs> so our youngest son got a basketball goal that you hang on the door. And as soon as we get a moment to get away from these kids, then I plan to play naked basketball. <laughs> And so it's almost like that dorm room scene Ooh. in the movie Love, Love and Basketball, basketball. Yeah. Yes. where if you get scored on, then you got to take off something. Okay. And I can't be the only one that wants to reenact all the scenes from that movie. She does. I, I, always, I wanted to always <laughs> do, get ice my ankle, ice your ankle in the bed. Yes. yes. I think that's, I don't know, it's something about that movie yeah. that I love. She, yeah. So. Yeah. I don't basketball. know. I, I, I like think it. About it. I like it. I, I hope we'll get too competitive with that. I hope we'll get too competitive because last time we tried to have a little friendly game of horse, it got, it, it got it, ugly. It went, yeah. <laughs> it got ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you choose to prioritize, invest in, and celebrate your love and relationship, yes. mm -hmm. not just on Valentine's Day, yes. but all throughout the year. Yes. More information about our coaching services, courses, marriage tools, events, and getaways, go to OneVisionERC.com. That website, again, is OneVisionERC.com. If you had a good time hanging out with us and you got something out of it, go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Like it so we know that you enjoyed it and share it with someone so they can be blessed too. We'll look for you next time.